Welcome to the Darius Owens Show. Keep it real, here to say how you feel, how you feel today. You feel today. Keep it real, here to say how you feel, how you feel today. You feel today. Now here's your host, Darius Owens. Come on. Yeah. Ah, oh, my tongue is burning. The sea is so hot for today. Ah, oh, come on. My tongue is burning. My tongue is burning. <laughs> Hi, thank you so much for watching my show. I really appreciate you for watching. I have the giggles today. And by the way, if you don't want honesty, you might as well go to a different channel because all there is over here is honesty. Now let's get started. It's time for the hot tea. Come on. Hey guys, welcome to today's show. Hope you're having a great week. Uh, by the way, rest in peace, Aaron Carter. So now Aaron Carter's fans are harassing his fiance. Now Melanie is 30, okay? So now she's trying to move out of the house and everything. And people are coming to the house and everything, looking in the windows and peeping in the windows, okay? So, um... This is ridiculous, okay? All she's trying to do is move out of the house. And now people have went on her social media commenting, being like, oh, you killed him and everything. And it's ridiculous. This girl is 30, okay? You need to leave her alone. And she's just trying to move out and live a peaceful life, okay? So um, now Aaron's housekeepers, so she was a homeless woman. So what happened was Aaron and his fiance went to Orange County last month to see their son that neither one of them have custody of now. So then while they're there, they got a call that their home had been broken into and it turned out to be the homeless woman. Now, uh, people are saying they don't know what's gonna happen to the homeless women, but you're gonna have to find something, okay? You might, you might be homeless again, but as long as you got paid from Aaron Carter, I'm sure you have a little bit of money. You know, Aaron Carter was on drugs and everything, but I hope he gave you a reasonable amount, okay, to get an apartment or something. I'm sorry that's happening to you, but it is what it is. Moving on. So have you all seen this YouTuber that was arrested for eating a bat? Now cops in Thailand arrested Bonica? However you say the name, it's a very stupid name. Well anyways, they arrested her for eating a bath and now they're saying that she could be facing serious jail time. So the bat, I mean, so the bowl had broth, tomatoes, and multiple dead bats in it, okay? Now she was pulling the wings and everything off and she was eating and everything. And one person got offended and said, um, <laughs> it's not funny. But anyways, remember when COVID came out and they said from, it was from a bat or whatever? So they said, if you're gonna die, die alone. No one will blame you, but you'll be damned if you start a pandemic. Now I agree with this person, okay? And it's crazy. Take a look at this video. อืมแถวนี้เค้ามีขายนะคะบวกๆมาเที่ยวได้ดิอันนั้นอีเกียก็คือค้างคาวอืมมีกลิ่นเฉพาะตัวนะน้ำอยู่ในน้ำอืมเพิ่มเปลือยอืมอืม Now we can't understand what she's saying but she looks very crazy and I hope moving on So Donald Trump's daughter got married on Saturday and they did the rehearsal on Friday at Donald's West Palm Beach Resort. Well anyways, Donald had a straight face the whole time, or should I say the pumpkin had a straight face the whole time. So everyone looks nice in my opinion, except for Donald. Now Donald gained a lot of weight over the past two years that since he's been out. He's gained a lot of weight, he's getting very fat and everything. Sorry. So David Dobrik's pizza place is doing wonderful. So he's been having this restaurant idea for a long time now. So he finally made the pizza place and people were outside laying on the sidewalk and everything. And I thought it was homeless people when I first saw it, okay? So they opened on Saturday and they've been doing wonderful and apparently the pizza is very good too. Congratulations, David. And um, I hope you have many more successful years a pizza business. <laughs> Moving on. All right, so Portia Williams and her fiance Simon are getting married now. And apparently they got a marriage license back in August. So she was on live the other day and she accidentally showed her wedding dress. Now Portia, how stupid can you be to even be on live in the same room with your wedding dress? But anyways, take a look. I'll show you the changes we made. Can y'all see good? So to this one, 
you've got <laughs> Lauren struggling. What is happening? Oh my God, look at, how did you get this part through here? This is what it's supposed to look like. This is where hers is. Come on. I'm trying. You're supposed to be representing. That is easy. What the? <laughs> Now, people are saying that they never expected her to walk down the aisle with him. And in my opinion, I didn't expect it either because Portia, I think you're a gold digger for him, okay? I'm sorry, but all these years that you've been on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, I know you had the money, but you want the more money that he has because he's ugly as sh shikum pops. That's what I was going to say. I wasn't going to say nothing bad. I was going to say shikum pops, mm-hmm. But yeah, Portia. You know you just want that money. You're just going for that money in your life with the money, uh-huh. And probably in like six years, she's going to divorce him. And he's, she's going to take all his money. And then he's going to be crying, saying, I loved her so much. And she's going to be like, yeah, I'm on this yacht with all my homies and everything. Just saying. So this TikToker, Alan Wes, Wesmer, I think that's how you say it. Anyways, he's a Hocus Pocus impressionator. Take a look. I love this video. Take a look. Delicious. Slot over with a woodsy finish. <laughs> Just tingling. My favorite feeling. I think it's working. <laughs> really? Tis the face of a child. <laughs> a newborn. What does it taste like? Raspberry. <laughs> Oh, can I have a bite? Oh, thank you. Retinol, what a charming name for a child. I love it, right? And I know it's the Christmas season, but I love Hocus Pocus. I don't care if it was January. It's Hocus Pocus and I don't care, okay? So now this TikToker, Nikki Horn, posted a Home Alone video. It was like, give this to Kevin. You know the scene when they were in the airport and then she was like, Kevin! Anyways, <laughs> they did it with the baby. Take a look. Pass this to Kevin. Give this to Kevin. Give this to Kevin. Give this to Kevin. <laughs> give this to Kevin. <laughs> Give this to Kevin. 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 Kevin's not here. 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 Right? It's wonderful and I wish we could have more videos like this because TikTok, it's like, I don't know why, but on my TikTok, I'm getting like all the boring videos with only like two likes and everything, like people trying to get famous and stuff. Don't show me that, please. And now I did the, um, I ain't gonna lie, but when I saw her picture, I was like, oop, challenge. Take a look. Funny, right? So, um, anyways, let me tell you what happened to me at school the other day. So you know, we were at school and we didn't have school on Tuesday because of election day. So I was at school and I'm in art class and I'm painting and I'm looking and I'm painting. So I got up and I went to wash off my paintbrush and my paint palette. So this girl, I don't even like her anyway. She's a black headed girl and she looks like a donkey, okay? So she gonna take this paintbrush and stick it up my butt. I said, no she didn't. So when she did it, I farted right in her face. And then she gonna tell the teacher and she gonna say, Darius, the teacher gonna say, Darius, that's very disrespectful. When the next time you have to do that, go in the next room. I want to say it's disrespectful when someone sticks something up your ass too. 
See, that's what I wanted to say, but I said, Darius, don't say nothing, don't say nothing. Then at the end of the day, she said something. I said, and I bet you like that gas, too. I sure did. Think you gonna stick a paintbrush up my butt and I ain't gonna do nothing? You got another thing coming for you. Anyways, that was it for the hot tea. I don't know what was going on today, but um, I'll have my brother EJ on next. We'll be right back. My brother EJ. Hi EJ. Hi. How are you? Good. So what you doing today? Nothing. All right. So um, how old are you? Tell the people how old you are and everything. Look up there. All right. So remember our last interview with Elena? Remember I told you we have a TV down here. We gotta look at the camera, right, EJ? Okay. So I am six years old and I like to play Minecraft. Okay. And um, how's school going and everything? Good. And what do you like to do on to, for fun? I like to go outside and play on the swings. Okay, do um do you have a lot of friends at school? Yes. Who's your name? I mean, what's their name? Uh, Zayden, Luis, Jeremiah, and Josiah V. And how are your classes at school? What classes do you have? I have STEAM, PE, Art, Music, yeah. What are your What is your favorite class? PE. Why? Because I like to run around. Yeah, do y'all always run around? Or do y'all do like fun activities like jumping jacks and stuff? So at first when we get in PE, we just walk and then when the music comes on, we run. Okay, and I know, I know you love the TikTok and everything. Why do you like TikTok so much? Because I like to dance. What's your favorite dance? F-R-E-E. -E. I'm if. Okay, later on, do you want to do the dance for the people? Yes. All right, so we're going to do the dance later on. And in 2020, remember you used to like Savage? Yes. Why did you like Savage so much? I remember every time you used to always listen to that, doing the dance and everything. You used to love Savage. Why did you like it so much? I don't know. I just did. All right, and by the way, do we do we get along? Yes. Uh, he lying. He is lying. You know we don't get along. We never get along. We get along sometimes, like if I'm, in a, if I'm in a good mood, I'll get along, but sometimes I can be grumpy, right EJ? Yes. Am I a bad brother? No. You sure? Yes. What's your favorite holiday? Uh, Christmas. Me too. Me too. I love Christmas. Why do you like Christmas? Because I like to open up presents. What did you get last year for Christmas? I got a Nintendo Switch for Mama. Oh yeah, what do you want this year? What do you want Santa to give you? I want more big Lego so I can build a fort. Oh yeah, by the way, he just had a birthday on October 27th and mine is November 26th and we're almost exactly a month apart. Can you tell the people some of the things you got for your birthday and what is your favorite? How dare you, phone? How dare you? Uh-uh-uh, interrupt not an interview. Uh-uh-uh. Who is this? We'll have to call you back. Sorry, I'll call you back. We'll call you back later. Mm -hmm. Wait, let me see. It's mama. We'll call you back later, ain't that right? All right, so um, anyways, uh, yeah, we were talking about the th some of the things you got for your birthday. Come on. Um, also, I got, I got this, um, my gr grandma gave us this uh, little ball that lights up and it um, flies in the air. Um, over your hand. And it's then, one of those balls that like hover above your hand, right? Yeah, but it's kind of like your thing. You know how it has the little spinning thing over it? The That's spinning how it, thing. It's with the spinning thing over it instead of just like, like in it. Okay. And also I got big Legos and then I got a treasure chest with sand in it and there was treasure in there. He loves the forts thing and everything. You know like I miss like back in the day where we used to build forts, not back in the day because I'm only 15, I'm acting like I'm 49, okay? Well, we used to build forts and the blankets and the chairs and the, you know, and everything. I still use, I still do. You love forts and everything, right? Yes, I built, I, um, Jenny lets me build forts with these chairs. Oh yeah, uh-huh, my show chairs, ain't that right? 
Mm -hmm. You love the forts and everything. And do you have a favorite YouTuber or anything like that? Yes. Who is it? Uh. Aww. He's just, I have two. He's just saying that because I'm right here. You know, he doesn't like me actually. Liar! I subscribe to your YouTube channel. Mm hmm. You just watch like me because I'm your YouTubers. brutal. I like you and I like Preston. Who's Preston? You don't know Preston. Don't even know Preston. Who's Preston? Like Preston plays. What does he? What does he do? So his regular videos, he like pranks people, and his um, his gaming videos, he plays Minecraft. Oh, yeah, cause you like Minecraft and stuff. I don't know how you do it because on Minecraft I'd be lost. I don't know what I'm doing in Minecraft. Because you don't know what you're doing. Because you don't even know survival or creative. Creative, you can do anything. I don't dying. know how to do anything on a bot. I mean, no, oh, oh, on a mine or a craft. Okay. By the way, when we were talking about not getting along, look, guys, you see my bracelet? Do you see my bracelet? Someone just broke it. Uh huh. Uh-huh, someone just broke it and they got locked out. They sure did. Ain't that right, EJ? Yes. What do you want for... Everyone's calling me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I already asked you what you wanted for Christmas, right? Yeah. And you're in the first grade, right? Yes. I can't believe you're in first grade still. And I'm seven. All right, so are you ready for the TikTok dances? Yes. If one more person calls me, that's their butt, okay? So up next, we're gonna do a TikTok dance for you. Don't go far. Wasn't that fun? Yes. Okay, are you ready for the TikTok dance? Yes. Come on, let's dance, come on. You were just scared to say a cuss word in there. Do you think rock stars are special people? I want it to sound far from everything. Like everything's upside down. I'll see you. Survive. Do you think artists are always on display? I'm just saying it sounds like somebody putting a gun to your head and telling you to be happy. We got you the nicest recording studio in Los Angeles. I didn't ask for it. I know you didn't, but we got it for you anyway. You're not doing your job. I can't watch him every minute. I don't get why I'm like this. 
Maybe you can act more like an employee so I'm not late, cool? God, I hate you! I soothe your pain Life imitates art I won't ease your strain Bury me alive, disappear on the ground Where they found me before I ever had this career <laughs> Welcome to Ramsey Shores. It's beautiful, but very boring, just warning you. It's like living in 1986 here. that you came. Just give the old man a chance. Karen is only grandkid. It's good to see you, Dad. To new beginnings. <laughs> to life. What happened? It's a suicide. I may have found something. It's on the knife. It's an ancient boarding inscription often to seal a body containing a demon. But in today's world, who has the know-how to play with this kind of stuff? And what if someone did? All right, so we're back, and I don't know what happened with the audio or anything, but um, I hope you enjoyed the show. EJ was great today, so th this is where I told him to come over there and say goodbye, and then I said I love him, and he said he loves me back. Yeah, but um, I was so mad about the audio. I don't know what happened. That made me very upset. I was editing, and I was like, what happened? 
Well, I don't know what I'm talking about right here. What am I talking about? Oh, I said thank you for watching. I'll see you next time on the Darius Zone Show. Bye-bye. All right, bye.